Well, Black and White Network, let's talk about Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith of ESPN, as you guys probably already know, actually has his own podcast, The Stephen A. Smith Show. Now, Stephen A. Smith says he's a registered independent. He's not a Democrat. He's not a Republican. But this man has already come out and said, hey, he's going to vote for Kamala Harris, no matter what. But Stephen A. Smith in this clip, we're going to be reacting to, went after Kamala Harris for that disastrous CNN interview. He was not impressed whatsoever. It was an unmitigated disaster, guys. We know that. Nobody, not even people on the left, man, were really praising that interview. You know, except for uh, Magic Johnson, he got destroyed for that, too. But anyway, Stephen A. Smith knows that Kamala Harris is in serious trouble against President Trump. But people like Stephen A., man, that's going to vote blue no matter who, because he already said, you got my vote. And even in this clip, he's going to say it also as well. Stephen A., she really doesn't have to go out there and campaign, man. Remember, she got your vote. She got your vote. But this man is furious, man. He is very, very furious with Kamala Harris, man. Very furious. But so what? You're going to vote for her anyway. You said it yourself. Now, I don't believe the polls, guys. I don't believe the polls. Natural polls actually said that Kamala Harris is up something like 1.5%. But guys said it's a disaster. That means that Trump is really up probably by four points. Because the polls are always wrong when it comes to uh, Trump. I believe even Stephen A. Smith knows that, man. Yeah, he very may well go out there and cast his vote for Kamala Harris, and he knows that she will lose. It seems like Stephen A., and he kind of mentions this, he's just voting for her because he doesn't want Trump to win. Now, you may say that played out pretty well for the Democrats in 2020, but guys, things are so bad now, it's not going to play out that way. It's just not, man. I already said to myself, man, Kamala Harris is the worst candidate to ever be nominated for a presidential ticket in the modern era. This woman is dumb. I believe she's a worse candidate than Joe Biden back in 2020. Let's go and get into it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream. Every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. If you're watching on Rumble, click the join button to get access to the same thing. And everyone can also support us by becoming a member on BlackandWhiteNetwork.com or supporting us on Locals, both for just five dollars per month. We appreciate the support. Check the links in the description. So here we go. Now this is almost a 22-minute clip from a show. Not going to play the whole thing, but I'm going to start around the eight minute mark here. And let's go ahead and listen in to uh, Stephen A. Smith. Let's roll it. This man has been indicted. He's been convicted on four, 34 felony counts. He's been impeached twice. He's lost civil cases. And oh, by the way, he gets grilled at the National Association for Black Journalists, and his immediate response is, it's a very horrible question, the worst question that could have ever been asked. You didn't even say hello, how are you? This is what he does. He goes up against Marco Rubio, Rubio, he called them little Marco. He said, Jeb Bush, low energy. Carla Fiorini, she's a four. Teasing Chris Christie about his weight. Called Ron DeSantis, Ron DeSanctimonious. The man comes up with one-liners that are catchy, and as a result, people gravitate to that. They pay very little attention to whatever substance he may have or is lacking, and he wins anyway. And he doesn't even do it by winning the popular vote. He lost the popular vote in 2016. He lost it again in 2020. Let's be clear here, man. Republicans don't normally win the popular vote anyway. It doesn't matter. It is the electoral college. So even when you actually see Kamala Harris up at the polls by 1.5 points, they're talking about in a popular vote, which doesn't even matter. You Kamala Harris, what the hell are you doing? 
I'm not saying what are you doing as in right now. The strategy thus far is fine. I'm talking about moving forward. Okay, so Stephen A, I guess, was perfectly okay at first with Kamala Harris not doing interviews or anything, but now it's a problem. She should have been out there actually doing interviews, agreed to debates, but she doesn't want to do any of that, guys. I don't think Kamala Harris is actually going to give another interview either. I really don't. I'm not even sure if this um, debate with Trump is even going to happen because Kamala Harris is definitely running scared and Stephen A knows it. And when you know the world is transfixed on you as the potential next president of the United States and we're looking to see what you do, you show up with Tim Waltz by your side? Really? Really? Yeah, she's you weak. You know we were looking for you. You know we wanted to hear from you. No disrespect to him whatsoever. But ain't nobody. Uh, how many times you going to hear that he's a school teacher and a former coach? That he gets you. How many times? We know this already. We got it. You want to talk to us about the state of affairs in Minnesota? You want to talk to us about it being one of the highest tax states in the, re in the, in the republic? You want to talk to us about whatever crime is going on there? What your positions were during the riots, et cetera, et cetera. I'm down with you. I got it. But there's millions of people who disagree. If you want to go that route, no. Nobody cared. You know why they want to hear from her? And why do they want to hear from her? Because when she was the vice president, you never heard from her. And she was getting blamed for stuff that she may not have deserved to get blamed for. Well, what is it? We're blaming you for flip-flopping on fracking. Is it true? Are you? Healthcare. Has your position flip-flopped on that? Yeah, Kamala Harris wants to abolish private insurance and have the government take over health care. Yeah, communism, folks. But Stephen A. says he's a capitalist, but kind of funny, man. Stephen A. is against the taxes and everything, but he's still going to vote blue no matter who. And those people want to tax you into oblivion. And we know that Stephen A. is a millionaire. Oh, these Democrats, man, definitely want a millionaire tax. But he's going to vote for it anyway. But he doesn't want to give up his money. Or is it the same? They're talking about, you got surrogates out there talking about, now you're willing to support building a wall after you spoke against it. You know, you, is, is, that, is that true? Is it? These are legitimate questions is all I'm saying. I'm not castigating her. I'm not casting convictions upon her or anything like that. I'm saying we want to hear from her. But you're not going to hear from her. about hearing from Tim Walsh right now. He's the vice president nominee. We got it. We understand. We ain't trying to hear from him, no. We want to hear from her. Because we've been waiting to hear from you for four years. No, Stephen A., you don't want to hear from Kamala Harris. She has your vote. You already said that. So she doesn't need to talk to you. She doesn't need to speak according to you. We want to see where you stand and why. And oh, by the way, as Teflon done as Donald Trump may be, that's with his constituents. It's not with registered independents. That's who you're trying to win over. Where you at? Ladies and gentlemen, she ain't going up against Mitt Romney, who knows his stuff. Say what you want about Ron DeSantis. He knows his stuff. She ain't going up against Nikki Haley. Whatever your positions may be, with the border wall, with inflation, with crime in Democratic cities, although there's crime in, 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 in Republican-led cities, too, the point is... That ain't even it. The issue is you did you did this in your first press conference, Kamala Harris. You sat up there and said, believe me when I say I know Donald Trump's type. You talked about dealing with criminals, fraudsters, and, you know, con artists. And then you said, believe me when I say, ladies and gentlemen, I know Donald Trump's type. Well, if you know it's tight and you're accustomed to dealing with him, why is he the one doing a bunch of interviews? That's because President Trump is not afraid. Kamala Harris is terrified. If Kamala Harris was, wasn't actually terrified, she'd actually do the Fox News debate. She would actually to agree to 
all three of the debates that Donald Trump proposed. But she agreed to that one ABC debate and she's trying to back out of that now. This one's terrified, man. She can't enunciate her position because if she actually told the truth about her positions, nobody would vote for her. Let's just be honest. Nobody would vote for her. This woman is a far left communist, Stephen A. And you're going to cast your vote for a communist, even though you actually say you're a capitalist. This woman hates capitalism. Absolutely hates it. Again, the strategy was fine. I'm not complaining about the strategy you employed up to this point. I'm saying be clear. That ain't going to win you the presidency. And for your first interview, and by the way, you know the code that he's using. Nod your head, Rashawn. Nod your head, Honor Free. Especially you, Honor Free. Oh, especially you. All right. And you too, Bailey. All of you. All of you. Nod your head. Is Trump, yes or no, is Trump not using codes when he points out that she's hiding? He's leaning on gender. I'm a man. I'm strong. How's he actually using code when he said that she's hiding? I believe everybody knows that she's hiding. And if Trump calls it out, how's that actually code? I don't get that. Look at the war in Russia and you, in Ukraine with Russia. Look at what's going on with Israel and Palestine and the Gaza Strip and beyond. Look at the kind of troubles that we're experiencing, whether it's North Korea, it's China or whatever, Iran, Iraq. I mean, come on, y'all. Look at all of this. You think she's strong enough? She can't even show up to do a, a hard interview. I show up all the time. That wasn't a hard interview. That was a super duper easy interview because all the answers that Kamala Harris actually gave. Uh, Dana Bash didn't give any follow ups to it. She just took whatever Kamala Harris actually um, gave her unless, you know, because that was actually edited. Maybe she did, but um. We'll never know because um, that's going to be under lock and key, the actual full interview. This is what he's doing. We all know what that is. You feeding into machismo. You trying to say commander in chief. He didn't do that to Hillary. He said a lot of things about Hillary, like crooked Hillary and stuff like that. He ain't never said he ain't never implied she was scared. He ain't never implied she was running because Hillary Clinton is, was smart as a whip. And now Hillary actually went on the debate stage with Trump. Hillary wasn't trying to back away from Trump. Yes. Kamala Harris is way, way, way more afraid than Hillary. I mean, even Biden got on the debate stage with um, President Trump. Kamala Harris is just completely running scared. No, her stuff. We all know. The most qualified woman to ever run for president in this country's history, without question. The bar is pretty low. Ain't that supposed to be Kamala? HBCU grad. Prosecutor. State attorney general. None of that is actually a qualification. HBCU grad. That is not a qualification for president. I mean, even if you just went, graduated from an, from an Ivy League school, that's not a qualification for president, Stephen A. Senator, reigning vice president of the United States of America. Kamala Harris. DEI hire. Remember, the only reason why she got that job is because uh, Joe Biden said, I'm going to get a woman. That was the only qualification. Harris has all the credentials in the world to stand tall, stand straight up and be like, yo, this is the way it's going to be. Let's get it on. And as a prosecutor and as an attorney, as somebody who knows the law, as somebody who knows a criminal when she sees them, as somebody who knows a con artist when she sees them and all of these other things that she said about him. Why is this dude the one we see? Because the Democrats are telling her, well, you know what? Something ain't broke. Don't fix it. We gain this momentum. We gain this momentum. We gain this momentum. They are right about that. And I'm not disagreeing with anybody on my team who feels otherwise. Here's my point. It doesn't matter if the regular process had been followed. 
But because they avoided the primaries, before they, because they were accused of greasing the skids to disguise and hide Joe Biden from the rest of us in terms of the decline that was clearly taking place. She is now the Democratic nominee without having had to have a debate, without having to experience a primary, without having to campaign. Yeah, because if the Democrats actually had a primary, she would lose. She bounced out in December of 2019 during the 2020 election. The first one to drop out. If the Democrats had a real primary in 2024 with her, she would lose. And I think a whole bunch of Democrats would even agree with that. Remember, she was the least popular number two ever. Her approval rating was worse than Biden, man. That's saying something right there. It was handed to her in the eyes of the opposition. That is what they're going to say about her. Say No, no, it's not just the opposition. It was clear. It was handed to her because nobody voted for Kamala Harris, Stephen A. Smith. Nobody. What you will about Trump. He's supposed to be a criminal, right? He's supposed to be in jail, right? He's supposed to owe nearly a half a billion dollars, right? The bottom line is he's been the Republican nominee since 2016. And he's been through a myriad of debates. And on top of all of that, he got all of this law, the, the, these legal issues descending down upon him. And the people have spoken. The Republicans said they want him. Yeah, that's because the Republicans actually believe in democracy in their own party, unlike the Democrats who overthrew democracy in their own party. So I don't want to ever hear about the Democrats and democracy because they don't believe in it in their own party. All of them. Nobody said that about Kamala Harris. Until July 21st. So you don't get to just skate to the election and have a debate September 10th on ABC. And you know what? We may barely see you Nah. Why also, ladies and gentlemen, Biden wasn't doing a bunch of interviews prior to the debate on June 27th. And then what happened thereafter with July and him stepping aside. So we have a white house that hasn't been active participants in communicating with the fourth estate spanning months. Why are you running this country? Nah, nah. I want you, Kamala Harris, to go out there and whip you. Do you know what of Donald Trump? That's what I want. Because it shouldn't be that hard. Who's going to vote for him is going to vote for him. Just like the left is going to vote for you. But us independents. Watch this. Yo, you can't take him. That's like Tommy Hearns or Mike Tyson getting into the ring with somebody with a glass jaw. You should be able to take them. We know they could fight too, but once they get clipped by somebody that likes you, they supposed to fall. You prosecutor. You should be able to handle this because of him. Say Nikki Haley or somebody you're going against. This is him. Shouldn't be hard. That was my point. That is my point. And that's going to be my point until we see her campaigning the way presidential candidates normally campaign. She's got my vote. Because I. You heard that right there. She's got my vote, but she needs to campaign. She hadn't campaigned, Stephen A. And why are you voting for her? Can't vote for him. But I don't want to vote for her just because I don't want to vote for him. Well, that's exactly what you're doing, Stephen A. You're voting for her strictly because you don't want to vote for Trump. Stephen A. Can't name one policy that he actually agrees with Kamala Harris on. Not one. A whole entire rant right there, guys. I mean, you guys go over to Stephen A. Smith's channel and um, check out 
uh, the rest of that clip, man. But man, this is pretty wild right here, man. Stephen A. calls himself an independent. No, he's not. He's a Democrat Party person. That's exactly what he is. I mean, how can you actually say I'm an independent thinker? I'm a independent. But yet and still, you're going to go out there and cast your vote for someone who is not campaigning, who can't speak. I mean, her policies seem to be all over the place. But you're going to go out there and vote for her anyway. OK. Stephen A., not very bright. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.